It feels like there's never a time when guns aren't in the news. But this week, there's at least some research to discuss. The Rand Corporation spent two years and a million dollars on the project, and the least we could do is tell you about it. This is Healthcare Triage News. Let's start with this shocking lack of research on the subject. After reviewing all the potential studies on guns and public health, they could find only 63 that they felt could discuss a causal relationship between gun policies and outcomes of homicide and suicide. Why? We've discussed this before. The government won't pay for the studies. They could change that. They really could. There were lots of things in the report that we talk about all the time, but for which there's no evidence. For instance, we don't know whether gun policies affect mass shootings. We don't know if they affect officer-involved shootings. We don't know if they affect citizens' use of guns for defense. It's not that we know these things don't work. We don't know if they do or not. It's a lack of evidence, not evidence of a lack of effect. There's a handy chart here, and as you can see, most of the boxes are blank. No evidence at all. A lot of the boxes are also inconclusive, meaning there's not enough evidence to know for sure one way or the other. We could try and figure this out. We don't. There's good evidence that safety policies, like requiring guns to be stored, locked or unloaded, lowers the suicide rate and accidents involving guns and children. There's evidence that requiring a permit to buy a gun can reduce violent crime. There's evidence that making it harder for those diagnosed with mental illness to buy a gun can also reduce violent crime. There's evidence that stand-your-ground laws can lead to an increase in violent crime. The researchers also spent time talking to almost 100 gun policy experts from the right to the left about what they thought 15 different policies might do for 12 specific outcomes. The policies included assault weapons bans, high magazine capacity bans, universal background checks, raising the minimum age to purchase, and more. They differed on specifics, but they thought that some things were clearer. They thought that gun policies should try and reduce suicides and homicides as a first priority. They thought that mass shootings were a secondary priority. There are some great tools you can explore. Go to the link in the description, for instance, and you can toggle laws on or off in all states to see what effect the policy you choose might have on your outcomes of interest based on what experts, both those who favor more permissive and those who favor more restrictive policies, think. Bottom line, there's some evidence that we could do more to prevent injuries and suicides in kids, and that alone would be great. We also need to do a lot more research. This echoes our four-part series, which we did on guns last year, and I really encourage you to go check those videos out if you haven't watched them yet. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Consider liking it below or even subscribing to the channel. And while we've got you, we like to make videos about stuff that sometimes YouTube doesn't like to sell to advertisers. And that's okay, because the content matters more than the money. That being said, anything that you can do to help the show is always appreciated. And one good way to do so is a subscription service called Patreon.com. You can support the show with as little as a dollar a month. Anything helps. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. But if you'd like to, Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sebitz, Carlos Garagos, and Crafty Geek. And of course, our Surgeon Admiral Sam. Again, Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage. And while I've got you still, consider going to HCTMerch.com, picking up some great merchandise like mugs or posters or even those little key fobs that hold on to your badges. I use one myself. And of course, my book, The Bad Food Bible, still available anywhere books are sold. Appreciate if you picked up a copy.